ads on your apps in App Inventor. I'm not going to be showing any type of app here, it's strictly just going to be showing you how to implement the ad into your app. Um, in this one, we are going to be doing um, an affiliate with uh, Amazon. Um, you can look up at how that process works at um, Amazon Affiliate uh, webpage. Um, I'll be having a link to that website because we're going to be using that in order to get the certain information to go in here. Um, but uh, it will be a step-by-step -step process of how to do this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is um, we're basically going to be viewing a web page for this ad. So what we're going to want to do is uh, go ahead and click on Web Viewer and click and drag that into your screen. Um, the width we're going to set to fill the whole page. And the height, this is going to be governed to your banner that you're going to be using. In my case, I'm going to be using, I believe it's like a 60, so I'm going to go with the 80 because I found out that it tends to be a little bit bigger than what it actually is. So I'll type in 80 there. And then, yeah, well, we'll go a little bit smaller, she's 70. Like I said, it, it, it all really depends on the band you pick and the size that you're, you will have predetermined. There we go. Alright, now um, you know when we follow links clicked, um, prompt for permission, it doesn't really matter. Um, it just automatically going to load up when the user goes there. You can have this invisible, then maybe when they go to a different page, the web, this web uh, location here that is located here will pop up. Um, it's all kind of governed by what you would like to be done, but the same process applies to it. And the first one we're going to be doing is a banner ad. So now you're going to go over to your Amazon.com affiliate page. The link will be located below. Um, in my case, I haven't set up anything. I just started it. As you can see, I got what, I got three clicks. That was probably me testing it. Um, I haven't put it this inside any of my uh, ads yet. So what we're going to want to do is now go to links and banners, banner links. And this is after you, you know, put your name, your Amazon. It takes two seconds. It's very easy. It's simple. There's no prerequisites or anything. It's just simply have an Amazon account, put your name in there, and then if you do make money, they need your obviously um, a bank account or a place to mail a check or someone. That's if you know when you hit a certain amount of money, they won't send a check for two dollars. It isn't worth worth it to them. Um, then we're going to go and probably, I'm going to do an electronics ad. Um, banners on a phone are usually, and then, oh, that's kind of small. Let's go, let's pick a different one here. Let's go back one. Gonna pick something else here. Electronics too. This is going to be different maybe. Yeah, there we go. Um, we'll do the 461. Now they're going to have some HTML code here. And basically, if you know anything about this, what it's saying is that it wants the that portion of the screen to go to this website here that I'm highlighting. That is then telling the code that I want it to be 468 pixels in that direction. Most likely it's a cell phone application and then 60 pixels in height and then it's telling the HTML code no no scrolling borders is zero meaning that there are no black lines around it and margin width is zero so it fills the whole screen um, in this case we are we, we already described this as to be the full size of the screen and our height we have described to be 70 so now all we have to do is tell it where to go to get this Add from which will be from here. Just want to copy this, okay? 
and then after you copy it you're going to go to your app inventor you're going to go where it says home URL and you're going to go ahead and paste that in there now don't worry it's not going to be the same ad it's going to change what basically it's doing is that um, Amazon probably has a server somewhere and it's hosting a web page specifically for you that has just that banner in it and that's the only thing you're grabbing from that web page kind of like your screen viewing their web their web page and they're changing every time for you but then when it is clicked on that web page and goes to the product it is then registering inside Amazon to um, to let Amazon know that that traffic that they got from that click was from your website or your app or your whatever so after you apply it in there you're gonna go ahead and save that and really that's all that needs to be done hey okay. um, I decided to uh, revisit this and try and work out some things on it I was able to get the ad up here and if you already tried to download this and put it onto your phone as is the ad does appear only issue with the ad is that the user cannot follow through with the ad uh, which doesn't allow them to go um, and look at the Amazon uh, page very clearly because um, it restricts the user to the one size that is on, on uh, the web page so the only way that I figured out how to fix this was to give the user a button to enlarge the uh, web viewing um, area and a very small one to the right or the left hand side of the box so in order for the user to move on and you know look at what they were trying to look at there so I'm going to go ahead and grab from the layout horizontal arrangement and go ahead and grab your web page viewer put it inside there now what you're going to do is uh, click any horizontal alignment make the width uh, once again fill the whole page and it should be around that size and you leave the height on um, automatic because we're going to want that to adjust if we make it too uh, rigorous it won't allow it to move down it will once again be locked into that size so now what you want to do is go ahead and go into user, user interface grab your button put the button to the side of your web page now the button's way too big so I'm going to go ahead and make the width I think 20 is, I think is a decent decent size I'm gonna go ahead and hit fill it 20 looks fine um, I'm gonna go ahead uh, no image on it uh, my text I'm just gonna put go um, you could get an image from the internet and then put you know go so it's you know horizontal and if it looks a lot better but in my case I'm not really too worried about it I'm just gonna kinda let you guys figure out how to make that the way you want to look uh, I'm gonna go ahead and round the edges and I'm gonna make the color gray it's not really aligned but you guys get the, the idea make the, big, the button bigger or smaller put a picture whatever you want in there honestly but uh, there's your button alright and then we're going to go on ahead and grab another button I'm going to put that down here once again I'm not going to worry about making it look pretty uh, but I'm just going to say uh, close on it so that way the user can now close the screen now I don't want the close button staying up there the whole entire time so we're going to go ahead scroll down here and not mistaken there should be a visibility text alignment visibility showing you want to take that and put it to hidden all right so now the button is going to be hidden and as you see it's not here anymore now you're going to want to go back into your blocks and uh, I'm go ahead and trash that and show where I got that from your button one which is the button that's in there you want to go ahead and click and drag it blocks removed and whatever okay save it I don't know what that was something about I removed all the blocks but 
uh, I don't think that makes a big difference here, but you're gonna take your uh, button one, put it here, one clicked. We're gonna go ahead and grab the web viewer, scroll down, there should be a height. Height you're gonna put down to here. Then you're gonna go to your screen and you're gonna make the height the height of the screen. So you're gonna go to background screen height. So what that's doing is it's asking the phone what, what's the size of the screen. And then it's going to take the size of the screen and make it the size of the web viewer. Now, I just realized if I just do that, now that button that I put down there is now going to be placed at the bottom and you'll never see it to close it. So what we're going to do is do a little simple math. i um, going to kind of scroll up here, grab your equation for subtraction. I'm going to put the screen height in there first. Then I'm going to grab another math function, and this is just going to be the math num numerical, which is a zero right now, and I'm going to subtract 20, because it's going to be 20 units for the buttons and the height. So that way it takes a screen height, subtracts 20, so that way it gives it 20 spaces for that button to be at the bottom for the use of the close. All right, so now that we have that all done, we're going to go ahead and we're, when it is clicked, we want that button to appear, because right now it's invisible. That's the way we selected it at the beginning. So we're going to go ahead and grab button 2, go into its set functions, and there should be one for visibility here. Color visibility. Click and drag the visibility, and we're going to set, go to our logic because it's a true false statement. We want to set to true when the button is clicked. Now you go back to your button 2, and when button 2 is clicked, we're going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and copy um, this line up here. So I'm going to go ahead and say uh, duplicate it. Put it down here. Going to get rid of this. And just take the numerical phrase out of it and put it back to 70 because that's what we agreed upon with 70. And we're going to put the ration in the trash. And we're going to go ahead and duplicate the bottom. And we're going to set button 2. Now it was true, we're going to put it back to false, and now it become invisible again. So what we have done is buttons clicked, screen becomes bigger, has a close button at the bottom, the user then does what he wants, he's done with the ad, he wants to go back to your app, goes ahead and hits the close button, close button that makes it small again, and the close button disappears. And the process can be repeated over and over again because there are true false statements. And now we have it here. Give me a second, I'll fire this up and we'll go ahead and show you how this is all done. Alright, and here we go. I'll go ahead and uh, show it off to you here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on it. it. Opens it up. There's your ad. Google whatever. I'm oh, sorry, uh, Amazon. I'm going to go ahead and click on the ad. It's going to go ahead, but see, it's not big enough, so you have your button there. Click on it, and it enlarges. Go ahead, do what you want. You know, whatever. You can't see it on here, but on my phone screen, because it's a thing. I have the button here, I go ahead and click on that, and it goes back to the normal size screen. And that is how it's done. So please like, subscribe, help me out, guys. Um, you know, and... Uh, comment let me know what you want next I mean obviously I'm going to try and get Google Ads on here uh, but I have to go through a third party called AdMobs because it is against terms and contracts to go and put a regular Google Ad on here from AdSense you have to go through um, I think it's called AdMob and I also try this other new one it's called AdPartner that's a little bit easier to work with with simple coding like this so um, please like subscribe and uh, hope to see you guys soon Bye.